to a new video and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new or you've just clicked on this video. I am Sari, I live in Barcelona, I'm an artist illustrator and I usually post about stuff to do with art and illustration and planning and journaling and the like. But today I thought I would do something different so you might notice a slightly different background. That is because I am doing a little wardrobe clear out. Um, I, but the thing is that I thought I would show you today, um, because I've recently purchased a new bag, I thought I would just take you through the multitude of bags that I've got. Bags are one of my favourite things. I'm not like a cluck handbag girl. Um, I'm not really into kind of like it bags either. Um, I really do like the, suit, um, the Gucci Soho disco bag. But I can't afford it and I can't really justify spending that much money on a bag. So I thought I would show you the bags I've already got and go through them and like tell a little bit stories behind um, all of the bags. Uh, the round basket bag. I got this bag. This is actually from Topshop. You can't get it anymore. Um, I think I got it in about 2004, 2005. Um, Sadly, the stitching has started to go, but I can probably, where is it? Yeah, there. I can probably mend that though. Um, it's got a really cool handle there. The, um, the straps, you can take them off, which is really cool. So you could just have it as a little handbag there. I love this. I love basket bags. I love baskets in general. Everything basket. Um, be still my beating heart. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Madeira in October, so there's a basket factory there, so I'm going to pick up a little basket bag for me as a souvenir from Madeira. Um, but yeah, I love this. I also love the round ones with the handles. I've seen that in a local market here. These are like really quite typical from here actually. Talking about baskets, so I've got this classic one that everyone has here. Um, this is kind of like a go to the market bag to get all your groceries and your fruit and veg and stuff and bunches of flowers and yeah, the Mediterranean dream where you're just walking along so casual and da da da. It also happens to fit my doggy in, <laughs> which he hates, but yeah, this is my little basket bag. I've had this for ages. Um, yeah, a classic really. A good summer bag, a good beach bag, a good picnic bag, a good everything bag. This bag is a treasured bag. I've had it for years as well. I think I've had it for more or less the same amount of time. Um, it's originally from Zara, believe it or not. Um, I saw it and fell in love with it. So it's a, a brown saddle bag. Um, it's adjustable here, so you can adjust depending on how much you want to ram in, which for me is quite a lot normally. And I really like the mechanism, the fastening me mechanism. Just does up like this, and hoops on there. Just feel like it's fairly safe for out and about in Barcelona um, because pickpockets are rife here. So yeah, and it's just a crossbody bag that you can always kind of have over. So talking about brown leather bags, I've got this one. Um, again, this is, well, not again. This is vintage. Love this, it's got a little, pocket at the back, um, the flap over, the fastening mechanism is bloody satisfying so you just clip it, oh, I'm making it look a lot harder than it is, so you just clip it like this and there's a little button here that you just pop like that and it opens, um, yeah ample space inside, I love the square shape, the length of the strap is perfect and I love that it's got this little handle here that you can hold it by. Again, I feel like this is a really good bag for Barcelona, like really secure. You can always wear it at the front of your body. And let me talk to you about backpacks. This one's one from Ikea. I just really love the colour. It's super practical. It's got massive front pockets that divide in two. Um, yeah, it's just, as I said, super, super practical. Inside's really comfy and the colour is dreamy. Talking about rucksacks, backpacks, whatever you like to call them, uh, I've got my classic Kanken in this great colour. As you can see, it's been loved and adored, and I take this everywhere with me. I'm pretty much use this daily, and I think I've had it for about three or four years now. And yeah, it's worn in quite nicely. Grey is actually a really practical colour. I, I do really like the light pink one or the yellow. But I think this is actually even more practical. 
love how like they fully open if it's my laptop my ipad pro it's got these side pockets that are really handy so i put an umbrella in there if it's raining or sun cream and a bottle of water bits and pieces you've got this front pocket to like kind of store your treasures in next up is this lovely cambridge satchel bag so um yeah a little backstory behind this is that um, when I actually purchased it, I purchased the one that was, th this was actually stitched onto the bag and then it actually fastened properly, like with the buckle. And they sent me the magnetic fastening one, which I was actually really annoyed about because I wanted kind of like the whole fastening thing and stuff like that and it to feel like authentic and kind of I feel like with this magnetic fastening. It didn't, it no longer felt very authentic and very kind of like satchel But there you go. Um, and their customer service was a bit shit, like the one I said about this. Like, hey, hang on, I ordered the like kind of analog -y fastening thing and you've sent me the magnetic one. They were like, well, we don't have any left, that's what it is. But anyway, besides that, I love this bag. It is really heavy. Um, on the days that I'm feeling rather achy, I can't really take this, but I love this classic old camera bag style. I think these age really well. You can't go wrong with a black bag. I love gold hardware on bags as well. Never silver hardware. So it's got this front pocket here that you can put like your phone and your wallet and whatnot. And then this um, larger bit there. By the way, all of the contents of my bloody bag contain poo bags. So for my dog. So going on the whole satchel theme, this is, uh, it looks really old but it's not, it's um, made in India and my friend Camille picked this up for me when she, on her travels in India and I love it a lot. I should actually wear it a lot more often. Love how it's like really, really worn in and stuff. When I first got it, it smelled really bad though, kind of like goat or something. Uh, yeah, so I love this as well. Oh, I'm falling back in love with all of my bags. So that's that. On the satchel theme, so I've had this for years. It's a navy satchel. I decided to get navy um, just because I thought it'd be something different and it kind of reminded me of my old school uniform and stuff. So yeah, it's the classic Cambridge satchel bag. Again, this fits in my laptop nicely and things, so that's cool. Um, it does actually have my name embossed there, but it's coming off. This actually has silk hardware, but I like it with the navy, so it's fine. And this is what I mean about the analog, like analog, I don't think that's the, the manual kind of um, stitched on buckles here, rather than it being magnetic, adds just a little nice charm. I mean, to get in and out of this is a bit of a palaver, but I love this bag um, a lot and I think I will actually wear this again but I find the Cambridge satchel bag super heavy obviously the leather is really good quality but this kind of breaks my poor little collarbone like I got a really bad collarbone and it kind of breaks it a bit so that's why I don't wear it that much. Oh, this is super super old um, and so a little backstory about this one. Um, in around 2001, 2002, 2003, I was really into the colour brown. I love brown everything. It just is like a really nostalgic old man. Kind of like my style back then was a mix between an old grandpa, grandma and a child. So yeah, I like quite like manly kind of things and I felt like um, brown corduroy, as you can see, was is really cool. I love the little gabbard straps. I actually really like this and how vintagey it looks now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring this back into my wardrobe. But how cool is that? That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, well, on that era, a bag that I just can't bring myself to get rid of is this little like kind of shopper bag. It's I think it's originally from Topshop. So yeah, it does up with a zip here. It's got two straps, so you can wear it in the crook of your arm or on your shoulder like that. I just really like this kind of um, bag texture here. It's got paint and everything, multitude of stains and paint and everything, but it adds character. I've put this like brooch on from back in the day. It's got this large front pocket that's good for like umbrellas and whatnot. And yeah, I love this bag. Um, I might actually bring this back into rotation. Getting on to black leather handbags and things. This is from Anne Other Stories. I really like the detailing here. Um, 
it's kind of like a fringed effect but like kind of sewn in as you can see again gold hardware i love the thickness of the strap and the way it fits cross body love that um, so when you open it up it's got this extra flap that goes over the top it had a mirror which is genius but at the same time a bit risky because it can break it's got a nice substan substantial pocket here yeah and it's just a really nice um bag to wear it's more of a winter bag i find because it's quite i don't know it just looks wintry but it's a classic it's it's like the classic envelope shape i just bag i've got here is actually a bag that my friend jordi here um makes i'm not sure he's i don't think they're in production at the moment but it's like a flat envelope bag it's all been hand stitched and laser cut leather and I love this bag. It's super practical and I love the fastening detail. It's just really interesting. Like it's a really interesting bag and really simple. Yeah, I love it. This little bag I picked up from H&M. So it's like obviously not real leather, but it's actually really good for just um, going to the supermarket or slinging on quickly because it fits my coat. Um, my clothes, my um, my keys, my wallet, my um, phone and everything in nicely and anything more and I really like the gold hardware as I said and the fact that it has this double zip fastening it's got a little um, internal pocket inside which I put coins and change in and the little um, zip detail has got this little tags on which I like the strap's super thin yeah just a little good practical bag just to throw over anything and it kind of goes with everything as well which is always a bonus but not least let's talk about my latest purchase so I have wanted the um Gucci Soho disco bag for ages but I just can't justify and I don't have that amount of money to spend um so I decided as there it was in the sale um this is one of my favorite brands actually been brand Lola or Bimbe Lola, um, yeah, from from here, they make amazing purses. I've already got, I think, three wallets from them. I love them a lot. So this is the bag, and I thought it was a pretty good dupe for the Gucci Disco bag. It's got uh, the leather is just beautiful. It's so soft. It's got the logo there. That's actually like metal letters that I've like kind of stamped on or like it's not embossed or anything they're like raised i quite like the simplicity of that however if you didn't want to have like the logo there you could just turn it around and stuff like that um so yeah i like the fastenings on it again that you can take them on and off um it's just a brilliant shape really oh, sorry just kept the camera so inside is this beautiful kind of like suede and it's got a pocket here and a pocket there and i think i'm gonna get loads of wear out of this because it's like that h&m one that you can just sling on it fits my camera my phone my wallet probably a small little sketchbook a pen a notebook or whatever yeah i really like it i'm really pleased with this purchase and i think it's actually a really good dupe for the gucci yeah bag that everyone has that i can't afford it's really similar um i like the little fastening on the strap the thickness of the strap the fact that it's not too heavy as well so yeah um let me show you some all of the bags like on thank you for watching please like and subscribe i'll leave the links on the screen in a sec please comment below on your favorite bag of mine or a bag that you've got that you love and why you like bags all of that business and yeah have a lovely day thank you again for watching the video i do hope you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye guys